I am so honored to be here tonight, surrounded by people who care about education. I have tried to find the words, the right ones, to convey my feelings about being awarded the San Juan Teacher of the Year since the moment it was presented to me. And tonight, months later, I still have not found them. I knew when I was nine years old that one day I would become a teacher. And thanks to the teachers, friends, and family who believed in me, my dream came true. I started taking mental notes back in elementary school about what good teachers do. As a student in third grade, I noticed that a good, to be a good teacher, you had to ask questions. Not just the questions about math or reading, but questions about them, the student. In middle school, I saw that good teachers expect their students to succeed. No excuses. And in high school, I learned that good teachers prepare their students for life outside the classroom. In college, I learned that to be a good teacher, you need to allow students to struggle because the learning is in the struggle. As a student, as a student teacher, I learned that good teachers surround themselves with like-minded people. For me, it's always been those who believe that kids are good and that each of them deserve the best, no matter where they come from. While I still don't have the exact words to express my, my gratitude, I think for now a simple thank you will, will do. Thank you to the teachers who inspire me to do more. To my partners who encourage my crazy ideas with the words, tell me more about that. <laughs> the principals who trust that the noise and mess in my classroom really is learning. The parents who trust me with their students. My friends who understand when I am talking about my kids, it may not be the two littles that live in my home, but the 30 that I share a classroom with. To my husband, <laughs> who made who made sure that nothing stood in my way of becoming a teacher. And finally, thank you to the students who allowed me to be part of their journey. Thank you.